Hi everyone, Nick here and welcome to another Gran Turismo Sport video. Today we're doing the third race in the Nations Cup and we're at Tsukuba. I looked up the pronunciation of that, hopefully that's right. If not, apologies, but close enough hopefully. Um, yeah, so we're around here in the go-kart, um, which is an interesting choice. I've not done any karting in this game. Karting in these kind of games see always seems to be a bit of a nightmare and practice for it was also a bit of a nightmare trying to do it on a wheel you have to give like one degree of turning angle to go around corners um, so yeah at least it's a quick lap so you can get lots of practice in so this is my fastest qualifying lap you can see that it's actually my seventh lap um, so we built up to it nicely got into the groove as it were but yeah it's the whole race and it's just like it never feels like in control um, so we're going through these corners in roughly right gear having to very slowly just like barely even turn in the wheel and it's going around there and here you have to really be careful it goes straight through that other guy as well which is brave because they could easily just solidify it um, but yeah this lap's going okay it's already a person the best um, I don't think we're close enough to the car in front to get a slipstream. But this last corner is tricky as well. You have to lift off ever so slightly, but not that much, and it's a bit tricky. We're a little bit wider than we'd like to be through there, really. But um, we're going to 57. I think that was the only lap I did in the 57s the entire evening, including practice and possibly race. I haven't checked. Um, so a good time to pull that out of the bag, and it puts us ninth on the grid out of 19 so we've already lost one person from session um, not ideal but yeah ninth um, I think we're number 20 from the door number on this one so it's expecting us to do very very badly so if we can finish top half I'll take that Okay, so now that we're done with the titles, let's have a look at who we've got on the grid with us. And a novel approach in this race, we don't have pole position, so MIG L86 is second, but actually first. Antoinou, 98.5, is in third, let's just go with those. Kaya Buzza in fourth. Uh, Wiki Famous from Portugal. I guess he's wicked famous now. It's M Hackers M who seems to be stalking me um, through the means of Gran Turismo and Formula One boy. Just ahead of us. We've got fast music, we've got a few Germans ahead of us. Uh, he seems to have almost the exact same time. Um, I think they've broken. There's me in the glorious Twix car. Um, not many people make an effort with the deliveries here, but there's Sweet Baby Jesus who's um, doing well for someone who's over 2,000 years old. And Dead, Defiant, there. Um, Alimony, um, there in 12. Watch out for him, he'll pop up later. Got Race Driver 93 in 13. I'm lucky to some. Um, Tom from is that Austria, I think. And to another Tom behind him, this time from Denmark. Uh, got the Loco Player, Hehe, <laughs> from Spain. Doug57 in A17 and in 18 is Mr. Naga who's actually door number one so he should be handy and we've got Stig EC from South Africa in 19 um, but as you can see top left we've only got 18 cars or carts rather so we've already moved up a place to 8 so that's good 25 laps 
about a minute per lap, so it's a 25 minute race, but yeah, 25 laps feels like a proper endurance level race. So let's see how this goes. I think it might be a bit tasty. So we're doing okay off at the start. Kind of slow in there, a bit of a collision already with fast music and another driver, and we're up to seven. It's alimony. It's made up a few places, I told you to keep an eye on it. Uh, but we're now up into seven. Um, leave a bit of a door open on the inside there, but no harm really doing. And we're going okay through here. A uh, little bit of a twitch there, but that won't be the first, I say last twitch. And um, yeah, wide through there, already on the marbles, don't know how they've appeared so early in the race. Uh, Animo is through into seven, so we're down to eight, so we're back where we started again. Uh, let's go through the last corner, he goes a little bit wide, goes very wide, um, but manages to recover it, we've got a good run on him, try to go around the outside, almost on the grass to do so, uh, but doesn't really work, and we actually end up losing another place to sweet baby Jesus, Jesus maybe, he's number four, but he's actually now eight, try and reclaim the place, and do it nicely, but he cuts back underneath us. Uh, car ahead has gone down, we've had a bit of a wobble as well. Uh, even more of a wobble there, and that's cost us a couple of places to race drive and a loco player. Uh, someone's gone wide there, so we now regain one, and you can kind of see how this race is going. Formal one boy goes through. Um, yeah, first lap to this, because everyone's so close, and cars are such a nightmare to control means that it's very much chop and change but I'm not overly happy about the way we're slowly going back through the field. People are getting penalties all over the place. Again we have to go wide there and we've this time we are on the grass. I'm not sure if we take out the cones there. Um, I think we've made up a place actually probably because someone else went off. Um, but yeah we're already on lap three so we're getting through it pretty quickly but um, still another 22 laps to go. So we're in ninth. Let's see if we can make a bit of ground up. Um, up ahead, something interesting. Uh, before one board goes into orbit there, or something. And we've got another ghost there. Um, but we've managed to go up into eighth, which is not too shabby. Let's just look at that again from the replay. Cohen did that. There you go, realism. Most realistic game simulator I've ever seen. Anyway, let's fast forward to midway through lap four. We get a crap slide there and we go through the penalty. Now it's interesting on this track car combination, we've got an innovative way to discourage penalties. Because if you're in cockpit mode and you have a penalty, you basically can't see the track in front of you. So I can't see the apex to any corners anymore because I've got that big massive slow down sign in front of me. So Lesson learned, don't get any penalties from out there. We got um, bumped a bit wide by Wicked Famous, and we're down to the ninth, but we're straight back up to eight because Dub has run wide. Um, so let's see if we can hold on to eight for our sort of lucky number for this race. Started eight, been eight for most of it. Uh, a few laps later, we've actually gained a place um, because someone ran off the track, surprise, surprise. Um, and Antony, don't know what's going on there, we had to take the place, but then, because he surprised us, we get a bit of a crap bump through that corner. Get a bit of a bump from Wicked Famous again, and Dubs goes through. So we're back to, you guessed it, we're back in it. Uh, Dubs gets a bit of a wobble, but we don't really make any gains on him there. Um, and we're aware that Anthony behind us is slightly closing. Dubs goes a little bit wide, nearly run into the back of him. But we just about avoid contact, I think. And think about the lunge up the inside, but no, someone else decides to go for the lunge up the inside instead. And we're in eighth again, so we've taken Dub, but lost our place to Anthony. 
will we ever get out of 8th position? Anthony has a bit of a nightmare there, so we instantly get out of 8th position. Hurrah. And then we go straight back to it again, because Dub decides to punt us off the track. But we're down to 9th for now, so that's gone well. Um, we're going to then lose another place to Defiant, so that's down to 10. And we're going to lose a place to Fast Music, which just ahead of us on the grid. So now we're down to 11, and we could only dream of being 8th again now. Um, fast forward another few laps, and we have gained a place because someone's fallen off the track. Um, I believe we caught up with Fast Music, then made a mess of it. He now runs wide, and we're up to 9th. So we're closing in on our destined place in 8th. Uh, someone has also quit as well, so there's only 17 runners now. Um, but we're back at night, just over half distance as well. And by this point, my arms are really starting to get tired because it just seems a lot more effort. Even though you're tired in the wheel so little, with this, it just requires more effort, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, but there you go, fast music has gone up the inside there. Nicely done. We've got a big gap going behind us to Alamo, but I'm conscious that that could just get gobbled up easily with one kind of mistake. Um, think about the inside, but it's not really on, a bit too tight and narrow. Um, fast music again cuts that corner, gets a penalty for it, I think. Should do, there you go. And then we follow him through the hairpin onto the back straight I guess. So we're thinking that we need to start thinking about making a move because our mate M Hackers, M, behind us, is starting to close in. Fast music is ghosting a little bit there, not really sure, making a bit of a game, give him a bump because he's obviously being a bit slow for our liking. Um, pulls to the inside there. Um, Disappears, reappears, materialises conveniently in front of us. No idea what's going on there, but he's managed to hold that place. Uh, but this time we are going to go up inside. No, not really worked, but we have there and actually got a better exit through that corner. And through there he goes up inside, but spears off to the right. Uh, it's always a bit tricky when you, if you turn a little bit more because you're on a tight angle, then liable to make a mess of it. Anyway, he's a couple of seconds back from us here, and we're back in eight, obviously. Uh, Dub is just ahead of us. He has a penalty. He also seems to have the tendency to blink and ghost a little bit. And as you saw back there, going through the corner, there, ghost, ghost. Not really sure why. Right on his tail. Thinking right inside line. We're going to go for this. And we manage it. Little bump, but it's a go kart. You're allowed a little bump, it's not the end of the world. Um, he is less than a tenth on our tail, so we've got to be wary through this corner so we go nice and tight. And we're now in seven. Hallelujah, we're above eight. Right up on that curb, unsettles us a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, now we're four something seconds, although Wicked Famous has been a bit of a mistake, but then we paid too much attention to that, and Dub is back up our inside. Powering down the back straight together here. We can actually try and go side by side through the last corner, because there's enough track compared to the car width, um, but that happens, and obviously we get a little bit of a nudge um, as we go. And now, look behind us, Alimony is only um, less than a second, so when we run wide, that gives him a bit of incentive. And fast forward a little bit, he's very close to myself. A little bit of a bump there, I think, from him. Um, we can see the cars in front of both the penalties, so if we can stick with them, that might be handy. The car behind's got a penalty as well. Um, but we have to be careful of any overtaking moves. Now we get a nudge. And another nudge. I said before, getting a bit of a nudge in a go-kart's not too bad, but I think that's a bit cheeky. Double nudge, um, the proper forcing wide. 
bit cheeky there, matey. Um, so we're back down in ninth, but we really want that eighth position because you know it's our it's our destiny to finish eighth in this race. I feel. Um, so we're going through here. Wicked famous goes a bit wide and gets in the dirt. Doesn't cost him as much as it would maybe in other races. He forces at a moment wide, but he then makes a comeback. Obviously, gives me absolutely no room whatsoever as he makes that recovery. And we lose a place momentarily to Formal Boy, Formal One Boy, and then disappears instantly. Um, at least he didn't go into our space this time. And then with the famous falls foul of Alimony and goes off to the inside of the track. So four laps left and we're you guessed it, we're in eighth place. But we're still kinda of hopeful we could maybe finish a little bit higher up the track because seventh and sixth aren't far ahead and they're battling it out and one of them's got a penalty so that could be good. Uh, Dub runs a bit wonkily through there and we also have a pretty rubbish exit so Formula One boy goes through. Um, so we're down to ninth. Um, he's got past Dub and they're having a right battle up the head. Um, Dub runs a little bit wide there and we're closing in on him quite quickly to turn two I guess um, but yeah we're looking at two ahead of a penalty so maybe stick on their rear wheels and we can do all right we've got to try and make sure we keep that gap as tight as possible uh, so we can take advantage of that um, those two penalties but nope one of them's off the track that's former one boy um, you know who's put him off the track there as well I don't really need to say it um, but that was it. That plan of stay on their tails didn't really happen. Once I got to the last lap, I felt like I wasn't really going to do much and sort of backed off a little bit, made sure of getting around in one piece. Uh, a few people quit as well, so we were only down to 15 finishers, but we finished 8th. Uh, started 8th, finished 8th. It was meant to be. But yeah, as you can see, I've got number 20, so it was expecting us to do a lot worse for now. Uh, we've got 514 points, which is a pretty decent haul. Um, I would probably have taken that before we started. And that puts us on 1,713 points. And I know that some people will get that much in a bad race, let alone a good race. Um, but I'm still pretty happy with that effort especially given I've never driven the carts and I don't think I've driven that track before. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then don't forget to give us a like or subscribe to the channel or leave a comment saying what you did, didn't like or do whatever kind of things it is that you like doing to you know, share a little bit of support for the channel. Anyway, till next time. Bye-bye.